What is up XRP community? Welcome back to another video. I want to talk about why a high XRP price is needed if XRP does have adoption. A lot of people don't understand this and it's pretty important as well as some upcoming dates in the lawsuit that you're going to want to keep your eye out. Okay, if you guys are new, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's hop right into it. First, I want to talk about some other things going on in the space. Elon Musk and Twitter are being attacked. This is a battle for the future of civilization. If free speech is lost, even in America, tyranny is all that lies ahead. All right, I'm not trying to be a USA maxi, but the USA is one of the few countries that truly has freedom of speech left. Even in Canada, you can get put in jail for using the wrong pronouns. So what Elon Musk is doing is truly a heroic act for all of us. And then look, Apple, the largest company in the world, Apple, has mostly stopped advertising on Twitter. Do they hate free speech in America? And then he says, what's going on? And he adds the CEO, Tim Cook of Apple. Okay, recently we've seen Elon Musk threatening to make his own cell phone if Apple removes Twitter from the App Store. And guess who retweeted this besides 18,000 people? Kanye West. Right? Kanye West, a very polarizing figure. You don't have to like him, but it's good to see that this guy is getting support. We all should be standing with Elon. This is not about politics. They're trying to make it about politics. They're trying to divide and conquer us. This is about freedom. Okay. Quick thing about Tether. Okay. If you guys haven't heard of the Tether FUD, it's not really FUD. Okay. <clears throat> Tether is a very sketchy organization, and this has a little bit to do with it. So, CZ Binance, right? A lot of crypto exchanges have been collapsing, FTX being the first one. And CZ Binance says if an exchange has to move large amounts of crypto before or after they demonstrate their addresses, this is a clear sign of problems. He tweets this out a month ago, right? And it is kind of weird. And if, ex if an exchange is showing you how much money they have, and right before they show you the money, they move the money around, you would think maybe the money wasn't always there to begin with. Look at this. Just the other day, Binance took $2 billion and transferred it to an unknown wallet. And this shook up the internet because Whale Alert covers these transactions. And CZ says, this is part of the proof of reserve audit. The auditor requires us to send a specific amount to ourselves to show we control the wallet. And the address and the rest goes to a change address. Ignore FUD. So it's kind of ironic. He's saying... Don't trust an audit if the funds get moved right before the audit. And then they move $2 billion during the audit, but for them, it's part of the audit. Now, a quick thing about Tether. Um, I'll play this clip at the end. I'll do the XRP stuff first. That's why you guys are probably here. Why a high XRP price would benefit Ripple? This is from Mason Versilius. Um, a lot of people argue that Ripple doesn't care about XRP and just use it to fund their business. These people don't understand Ripple. Okay, Ripple has RippleNet, which doesn't use XRP. RippleNet is a real-time settlement software that is used massively right now. XRP is the on-demand liquidity product. Think of the, um, the real-time settlement software as the cake, and all the icing with the cherry on top is the on-demand liquidity software. This uses XRP. Now, the reason a lot of banks, people say, oh, well, they, use, they only use the software. They don't use XRP. Well, the reason they don't use an XRP is because it's an unregulated cryptocurrency. These big banks have thousands, well, maybe not thousands, hundreds of lawyers. And a lawyer, a legal team, is not going to say, yeah, go ahead and use an unregulated cryptocurrency asset. We need regulation before these banks can use it. And by golly, gosh darn it, they will use it. Because why would a bank choose to not save money? Which is what the on-demand liquidity product does. It frees up capital. It makes them more liquid. In banks, what do they care about? What does all business care about? The M word, money, okay? So this is from David Schwartz, um, C C T O C T pardon me, CTO of Ripple. And if you guys like my videos, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. It helps support. I know it's annoying when people say that. It's called a call to action, but thank you in advance for smashing that like button. The most obvious benefit to Ripple of an increased price for XRP is that it increases the value of Ripple's XRP. This means that Ripple has a greater ability to incentivize partners in liquidity. 
It also means that Ripple can raise more revenue by selling XRP. Indirectly, more value almost always means more liquidity and trade volume. XRP has all, already has each of the other characteristics needed to be a good intermediary asset, but it will be initially limited by the available liquidity. Greater liquidity will give Ripple more flexibility to target larger corridors. And cross-border payments, as we know, is trillions and trillions if you include the derivatives market quadrillions of dollars right xrp doesn't have the liquidity at this price but over time greater liquidity will allow ripple to target these large corridors where trillions of dollars are moved also to some extent ripple's success is limited by people's perception of ripple's success if you think ripple's payment technology is going to be the next big thing you'll be willing to invest the money and resources needed to implement and deploy it. If you think Ripple is a scam, you're not going to integrate it or perhaps even look at it, whether it makes sense or not. XRP's price is seen as a measure of Ripple's success or likelihood of future success. It is also important that it not be terribly expensive to hold XRP. A higher price will mean that a similarly sized cell will produce less volatility. So a higher price could mean a lower cost to hold XRP. So long as XRP's general price direction is up, the volatility can be hedged without much difficulty. When Bitcoin sold for $1, you couldn't really use them to buy or sell a house. You can now. Bigger transactions require bigger value. The higher the price of XRP, the larger the payments Ripple can target. When you're expecting exponential growth, even a small increase in your starting point can pay huge dividends down the line. And now really quickly, a few XRP ripple dates, okay? Um, on December 22nd, the collective motions to seal documents related to the summary judgment notions will be filed, okay? Originally, two disputants had to file their pleadings by November 30th, that's tomorrow. And on December 2nd, in a few days, Ripple and the SEC are scheduled to meet to jointly discuss redactions before a release on December 5th. So keep your eyes on December 5th and December 22nd. And if you guys have been following the FTX meltdown, SBF, Sam Bankman Freed, is going to be on this guy Mario's Twitter spaces. This guy Mario has been doing Twitter spaces, getting thousands. Elon Musk joined his Twitter space. This is going to be one for the history books. I'm very excited for this one. I think it's on Thursday. Okay, so if you guys want to listen to that, go over to this guy's Twitter. Uh, yeah, Thursday, December 1st at 12 p.m. Eastern time. I'm extremely excited for this. And guys, if you're still using a centralized exchange, get a Ledger wallet. I have multiple of both of these. Don't buy them from Amazon. Buy them from dire directly from Ledger. Uh, this is the greatest way, most secure way to store your crypto. It's called a cold storage wallet. I have a link to Ledger in the video description below. The worst thing you could do is get hacked in crypto. So please have good security. If you guys want $41 guaranteed, sign up with Webull. You have to be in the USA or Hong Kong. Sign up, deposit just a penny, and you can get up to $15,000 in free stocks. Typically, you get $40 to $300, but you can get up to $15,000. Sell the stocks, withdraw, keep them invested. I don't care what you do with them, but don't miss out on this promotion. It does end soon. Link is in the video description below. And now for some stuff on Tether, okay? So CTO of Tether right here, Paolo Arduino. Tether is by far the largest stablecoin in all of crypto. He claimed that Tether hadn't completed its long-promised audit because the big four auditors were kind of afraid of the cryptocurrency market, Okay. The big four auditors, that would be your PricewaterhouseCoopers, Deloitte, KPMG, and Ernst & Young. These are the, the by far the biggest consulting and accounting firms in the world. I, th I know in the U.S., I, I think the world as well. However, the big four argue that they can bring more resources to bear on work for crypto clients than smaller auditors. So, not really aligning with what this guy said. And then listen in this interview to the question she asked him about Tether's backing of U.S. dollars, right? Each one USDT is supposed to be worth one U.S. dollar. And 
growing competition from the likes of Circles, USD Coin. Joining us now, Tether Chief Technology Officer, Paolo Ardiono. Paolo, it's great to have you back. The last time we spoke was nearly a year ago. That was a wide-ranging live stream that did get some attention. Uh, there have been no shortage of skeptics. Today, though, you do remain solvent. You've met redemptions. You're reducing commercial paper holdings. Let's start broad, though. What exactly tethers your token to the U.S. dollar? So um, our token, USDT, uh, was the first stable coin invented in 2014. So Tether is the company uh, behind the uh, biggest stable coin in the market, USDT. It created it in 2014. It is um, the biggest stable coin by market cap, but also um, is the biggest stable coin by daily volume. So uh, while uh, we are uh, we have reduced our market cap in the past weeks. The um, we still lead by far in terms of uh, of daily volume, with volumes that average from 60 billion per day to 120 billion per day. Uh, Paula, with all due respect, that was not my question. What tethers mm -hmm. your token to the U.S. dollar? Oh, all right. Sorry, um, you know, Italian. Um, um, Basically, uh, the most important characteristic of, um, um, of a stable coin is its reserves. So um, in case of Tether, we have a strong liquid portfolio of reserves that are, that are including U.S. Treasury bills. As uh, you mentioned, we have reduced dramatically the uh, widely spoken uh, commercial papers from around 30 billion was uh, mid last year, around the time we spoke, to uh, 8.4 billion at the end of uh, June. Uh, 2022 and will be around 3.4 billion, 3.5 billion mm -hmm. by the end of July this year. So the most important thing when you are running a stable coin and you want it to be tethered to the to the underlying national currency mm -hmm. that is this case is the, the dollar is the um, is having instruments in your portfolio that. So this is the breakdown of what they say they have, right? 28% commercial paper, 50% U.S. Treasury bills, blah blah blah. 70 billion in liquid assets. Now, the problem with this is anyone can talk, right? Where is the evidence? And they've never had a very legitimate firm audit them, a firm like a Deloitte, a PwC. And some people think this is the black swan event that could potentially bring Bitcoin down to 11K or maybe even 3K to 4K. Tether has such a effect on the market. And a lot would argue that the last run up to 69,000 was all because of Tether printing billions of dollars out of thin air, okay? If you guys are still watching, comment tech below. When you make it to the end of the video, it really supports. So let me know you finished the video by commenting tech. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Until next time.